this tutorial we're going to learn how to create combined islands kind of in water rocks with ecosystem population and um, more complex kind of combining ecosystem with 360 covering and more so let's go ahead and start work on the, this project okay so let's go begin by creating some small islands and those ones will go create from the primitives so well, for example, we can go take a sphere, adjusting, putting down, little bit squish. You can hold it Option on Mac or Alt on PC and drag up. And you can see I'm just offsetting them slightly. Like this, we can also go inside and offset them a little bit other ways as well. I think right here this one so let's offset this just overall so next we're going to select all of those spheres and we'll go click to create a meta blob okay so not hyper blob meta blob next we want to apply some um, material to this okay let me go take my camera move out so we can preview so right here kind of and I want to apply special material to all of this Okay, the best one we can copy and paste material you like it example if we're going into the rocks and we we'll look through all rocks for example smooth rocks or whatever in um, let's go to the face at rocks and for example i do like this rock so i just need to click select and build this rock we'll can put on the side for now we'll reuse in the future we're going to copy this material we'll select meta blob and paste the material on our meta blob notice right now we have it all of this material so nice things about the VU if you like material of any specific element you actually can copy and paste those okay also let's go open now material editor and we'll go into bump maps and you notice we don't have any displacement applied um, so we could enable and it will apply as well displacement as um, for example 15 will apply displacement as a bat map as well so if you need it, if you interested or need, you can do this way as well. Okay. So for example, we can disable and we'll go back. Okay. So this is one way we can do it. Um, let me go depth set maybe 10 to this one. So we'll have a little bit more. Maybe this is too rough. Okay. One, I think it's what it was before. Let's leave it like this. Uh, we can also apply different type of the materials to this. For example, let's just see um, what rock we have it. And for example, if I have it, let's go this far, storm rock. Okay, uh, let's move it out. Same, I can go ahead, copy this material. Let's go to meta blog, paste that material. So we have it slightly different. I maybe like that one better. So I'm going to keep it. This material okay one thing what I want to look on this meta blob and I see it's a little bit too specular light so if we're going on the highlights it's a little bit too bright so I'm going to take them leave it more to the dual on the rocks okay next what I want to do with this island I want to apply more rocks to this okay maybe on a side of this kind of like they climb around and about because we're using water uh, thorn like rock this is probably what we're going to use it so right here we'll go to create a new layer okay let's go call it rocks okay let me actually raise okay next we're going inside um, this material actually let's switch to the ecosystem Okay, in the ecosystem, we'll go to general and we're going to add rocks. And as we select before, we select same type of the rock. Let's go around and we can go and populate. But first, we'll just very simple population. And after we'll look with adjustments because we want to put it rocks a little bit on below in other areas. So we'll check how we can do this. Okay, right here let's click populate and you can see a rocks populating 
just about on top and other areas. Let's go click on a density, increase slightly density of these rocks. Okay. We also um, maybe allowed stacking of 10 of them. Okay, we'll just take it and put it minus 0.5. So we want to put them a little bit down. And as well, we increase clumping for this. Okay, next, let's go to scaling. We'll pop up the scaling for this. Okay, we'll leave it all this as default. Okay, we um, don't need to worry about maybe a little bit of shrink, but not that much. Okay, color presence, they're all there. Let's go ahead, populate. So, and see right here, we have a very interesting, very nice rocks already kind of going. Okay, so let's go ahead, maybe increase density a little bit more, populate one more time, see what we have. Good, nice stacking rocks going around this area. So, I think it's good for now. Let's leave it like this. Um, next, actually, there may be texture on this just a little bit, but I want to apply something more to these rocks. Now, maybe time to apply some plants. Uh, let's go create a new layer and we'll call this plants. Okay. Same, we'll switch this to ecosystem. And right here, we'll go enable ecosystem. We'll go to the grass. And in a grass, actually, I'm going to select small grass field. Okay. If we click populate right now, you can see it will just cover a little bit right there. We need to put it in many, many other places. So for that, we actually need it pop up very high density, which is could take it a lot of instance. Okay. So let's go see when it's refreshing. You can see they're going a little bit by the rocks in those areas. Let's go increase just slightly. Okay, and also I want increase, click 360 population. So in this way, let's click OK. It should populate it everywhere. But I will adjust a little bit on that population in a second. I just want preview, see how well it actually will cover in all other places. Okay, it should take greater tons of instance for us because it will create it on all access everywhere. And next we need to go inside the presence now because it's 360 and we need to reduce some of this. So you can see it's right here. So we'll go to presence and altitude we leave it right here, but angle we want to go around this area and let's go fastness. Okay, let's go clear and populate one more time. Okay, yeah, like okay. Okay, so it's populated kind of interesting. Next, um, I want to add some bushes to this. So we'll go create another layer and we'll go to switch to ecosystem. Okay, in this case, we'll go to select plant, we'll go in the trees, and in the trees, we'll just create a um, large alder. This is one, and we'll take probably a couple other variations of same plant. So we'll have a different coloring scheme around. Okay, so let's go right here. We'll select them. Okay, we'll go select one more time. And we'll set late summer as well. Okay, so now it's completed. Let's go click populate. And it does add a few of them on the top. Um, we probably want to increase dense, so it will have it a little bit on other areas, but overall it's what we wanted. So let's go with density, increase density. Um, I want also, we don't, about a stacking, we don't need to do this. However, um, slope is there, we increase a little bit on a climbing, go to scaling, and right here I want lean out a little bit, so it will go on the side, kind of lean more this way. So let's go populate, you can see right here, they kind of will start lean, maybe even more, you know, let's go lean out of density right here. And we'll add a little bit more perpendicular. Okay, reduce and let's take scaling just a little bit down. Okay. So we had a very nice plan going around. 
Okay, let's go actually increase density. I like when it was a little bit more than. Okay. Right here, we'll go click OK. Let's set our camera so we can preview this kind of weird looking island. Okay, and let's go ahead and render. Okay, so as a render, you can see some of lane is going total weird and crazy. So we need to reduce a little bit of this. But it is creating a very interesting looking island. Um, I will add another layer just with uh, some little bit higher grass, maybe, or Kenya, something, you know, to add those areas between. But it is look um, quite a bit interesting at this point. Okay, let's go open camera properties I want to do. And inside the camera properties, <coughs> I want to disable after exposure and natural film. So just be sure that we getting what we seeing as render. Okay, let's do this go in a material editor and fix a couple things. So first this one will have it tree so I know that's there. And we'll go to um, more clumping, we go scaling and right here, lean out, we'll just reduce this way, and a bit more vertical. So let's go repopulate and you can see we have it kind of a little bit nicer cover. Okay, also let's go to add one more layer. Okay, and we'll call this grass or um so like mid plants maybe. Okay, we'll go convert this again to the ecosystem general and we'll go add and on this case we'll go to add can't hear probably this one let's see how well this one will look so something just to fill up those areas right on there around kind of middle okay we'll go to populate just to preview how tall they are and they are quite a bit tall so we'll go to density increase density so i can preview a little bit more of them and we'll go to reduce a little bit on a scaling Okay, and in this point we can also increase clumping them together. And you glare and lean. Okay, let's pop up density higher. Populate and let's go ahead, render one more time and preview what we have so far. Okay, so right here we have our island and it's look kind of interesting. With the lighting we can have much more fun with this. Let's, um, almost we're ready to duplicate, so I click OK. And remember one thing, when you work on the project, be sure you save this. Okay, so next we'll go to, let's destroy these rocks, we don't need this water. Okay, that one I want to open again. And right on the bottom, I want to add one more layer. Okay, we'll go switch this to natural grain layer. One color, we'll go select darker green. And another one, we'll select a little bit brighter. Okay, this is just will help us um, roughness, contrast, there you go. So just overlay when we're putting over it so will look like a moss in some cases. Okay, so let's go to present. And I want to also displace a little bit on the bottom, like those areas. On this case, we can reduce slope range. If you have a hard time see where it's located, you can always just switch the color. And we can preview. You know, as well, right there, you can see where the color is going for this. Okay, let's go a little bit of add right this area so we have it right on the flat right there a little bit softer so you can see right there we adding got up more to this we can go again fuzziness maybe so i just want right in this area so we don't cover okay 
if we need add a little bit not so much of color we can go always into the transparency global transparency variable and just double time click on this and preload doesn't matter we can preload any of those maps that look nice this just add some of this variable transparency to us so it's what we needed not to look exactly the same just a little bit more a little bit less in some areas still think in the presence we need to kind of trim even down more so right there want to see it a little bit okay and now we can go back and re-enable so we have a little bit more greenishy kind of a look in those areas moisty okay let's go ahead click ok and now i want to take this meta ball hold down option or alt key and drag so all what i did is just duplicate it and as we duplicate it after this just let's go squeeze a little bit more rotate just a little bit increase in size and maybe put it right here on the side so we kind of creating some of the position of this let's go again do exactly the same alt copy move it right there and we'll just squish it a little bit more and maybe put even right here leave it behind kind of okay let's go increase in size and right there so this is kind of preview we will populate them in a second so we can go inside and after but you notice they have it all exactly the same materials if you don't want populate them but we still want preserve we always can go enable and switch this to dynamic population okay let's go click ok copy material and we'll just go ahead and paste this material on all other meta blobs.